can help me to visit it. Yes, sir. Okay, we will be uh, doing a revision for chapter one until chapter four. Each each uh, exercise will will have about twenty question. All right. So um, this will be the minimum standard of uh, your assessment. It is uh, your test one, uh, uh, test two, and uh, final exam. Huh? OK, so this one also uh, an uh, extra effort uh, from your lecturer. So when you do your lecturer evaluation, please put this as extra notes there. Uh. OK. Um, so we, we go into that one. Uh. And for your assignment, uh, your assignment already upload a new attachment. Previously, I attached the wrong uh, attachment for your uh, as a report. Uh. So uh, make sure it cover all this uh, learning outcome. Yeah, so your for your projects uh, report, 30% already upload in the canvas. So the, the information or the project brief already include attached into the uh, projects and report uh, folder. Uh. So you go and have a look. It will be due on week six, week six, uh, week six uh, last Sunday. Uh, we say with last Sunday, uh, submit in the Microsoft Word format, okay? And it, and it's a group project, uh, It's a group projects. Any of the member can submit, uh, Any person, that's okay. okay. So again, we have covered chapter one: introduction to project management, growth of uh, project management, introduction to project manager. We also cover organization structure and staffing. So uh, your test, we have two questions. One is chapter one, chapter two. Question two will be chapter three, chapter four. Okay. Uh, right. Your test one will be in the week four. We are now in the week uh, week two. Okay. So we actually we are a bit ahead with this uh, uh, good good sign. But uh, for the network scheduling, actually it's a very long chapter. Uh, for pricing, also a very long chapter. Okay. All right. So. Let's uh, go to the review question and uh, the answer for this I won't upload in the uh, canvas. OK, so uh, you won't see the PowerPoints in the canvas. OK, yeah. so let's go to the first one. Mm. So the potential benefit of effective project management are. So this one actually is a open uh, ended question. So. Uh, as long as you hit the keyword or near to the meaning, you are actually answering the question. So what do you think? If you have, uh, uh, what is the benefit, potential benefit of if you're able to manage your projects very well? What is the benefit? What do you think? What do you think? What are the keywords in project management? But what are the you, you think of the resources or you think of the definition of uh, project management? What are the what are the constraint or what are the main parameter every time you you look at the project management? Uh, release okay, cost time okay. So you elaborate on this these three. So um, let's look at time. So what if your uh, if you have an effective uh, project management. What is the benefit in terms of time? Save time. Okay, save time. But save time. Uh, how you how you know you are save time? Hmm. 
Okay, so okay, the first one is about time. So you elaborate, you able to identify the time limit for scheduling. So because you have start time and end time, so you able to uh, manage your time, project time, uh, project time. So you able to identify the time limit for your scheduling. Okay, so that is first one. Huh? So what about if you have a project management? Uh, what do you learn so far? What, what do you learn in chapter four? You learn about the organization chart. What's the organization chart uh, tell you? If you have very good organization chart, what is the benefit? Active communication. What else? What is the organization chart means to you? Uh, what does what, why we need the organization chart besides communication? Why there is a level one, level two, level three, level four? Why why? Huh? Haraki Haraki also means what? Authority and responsibility. Yeah. Okay. So if you have a effective project management, you're going to have a very clear uh, functional responsibility or responsibility for the organization. Okay. What else? You you touch about time. You talk about organization. Then what else? Cost, okay. Elaborate a bit. Mm. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So that one is also another point, uh, but that is not inside the the stand answer. But if you write that one, also I will consider that is a correct answer. Huh? Yeah. High chance of success, a bit. Uh, if you use the word success without any elaboration, it is the, the answer is a bit too big. I mean, it's too too general. Also, uh, we cannot give you marks. Uh. Yeah, completion, you didn't mention time. You mentioned cost. What else? Yeah, completion, right? That's not you. Okay, risk, how you manage risk? Are you managed switch? Huh? Controlling how you control failure. Ah. Over costing you did mention, right? Ah, cost you mentioned. So what else? <laughs> no one is sir. Huh? Right? Clients, okay. Satisfaction, okay. Okay, what what does the customer want? Actually, okay. What mean by success? Okay. Okay. Time, cost already, and then. Uh, I mean, you, you 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 if you use failure, success, that one is a very general terms, right? You have to like define what is failure, what is success. Uh, okay. So you already touched about the the time. Cause, uh, authority, responsibility, and then uh, you can check whether you meet the objective or not. Because this is what your customer want. Right? Uh, I mean, if you write customer, it's very near, but you are not actually uh, uh, hitting the point. right? So what do you deal with customer? Actually, customer want you to meet the requirement. Uh, okay, and then uh, what else? Uh, you able to identify problems and then you correct it. And that is a project management will do lah. Okay, so I will give you all the answer. Okay, so it's about that lah. So anything that near to the organization chart is a uh. uh you don't need to copy all, uh, just mention the, the keyword, then you elaborate. Uh. So first is a clear identification of functional responsibility. The word I'm looking for is responsibility. A uh, clear responsibility, uh, who is, uh, who is uh, responsible for uh, what thing. And then you minimize, uh, minimize the need for continuous reporting. This is on the organization chart. Uh, 
So like you don't need to keep repeating, you know who you need to see. This on the organization chart. Huh? This link to these two points is linked to organization chart. Identify time limit of the scheduling. This is on the project time frame. Okay. So you, you still go back to the, ident uh, the the definition of the project success. Right. So what is the project success or what is the project management? Uh, uh, yeah, definition. Huh? So time, you touch about time. You uh, this one is another. Uh, this one is on the project manager things. So this one is uh, you able to identify the methodology of a trade-off analysis. But this is a uh, uh, we will learn about this one later. Huh? So this one is uh, uh, project management. Uh, project manager, you have to know how to like trade off. Huh? Okay. Then you have able to manage whether you accomplish your plan or not. Okay. This is the project management. Huh? Okay. Uh, so uh, you elect based on customers, time, cost, the objective, um, the problems, the challenges, all this. Okay. Uh, so we have clear on question one. So question two, describe how to use the project management methodology. Again, uh, we don't have a, uh, we don't go deep into methodology, but methodology is like your uh, FIP chapter three. Methodology method is uh, is the way you deal with things, but this one you can elaborate. Uh, may benefit organization, impact organization success, and exist in the achievement or strategy objective. So how to use uh, project management? So this one I'm going to uh, still is still uh, is still uh, elaborate around the definition of a successful project management. Okay, so I give you the answer on uh, this one. Okay, so this one have still have uh, Okay. So um, how you use project management methodology, you control the changes, uh, consistent approach, improve quality, risk, just now you mentioned risk, so we re 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 reduce the risk and improve estimating ability, means capability, right? It's still elaborating on the, the points above. Huh? It's related to project management. There are a few keywords that keep repeating. Um, your capability, so in this word, you say estimate your ability. It's the same, same meaning, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any extra? Is there any extra? No, I print 14 to June. I Means someone is not coming. Okay. Uh, remember to sign attendance. All right. Okay. Can I? So, question two, we are done. We go to chapter three. Uh, question three list the factor that commonly known as compete, uh, com competing demand. Competing demand. This is called. Uh, you can link to this one as resources. What is your uh, resources? So, uh, competing demand. You, you you imagine yourself. You 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 are in the bidding process. Mean you want to compete with other. You want to get the projects. So what what are the things that you use to? Uh, what are the things in your proposal that you try try to uh, persuade your customer to choose you? Okay, you, you company A, company B, you represent company C. Okay, cost. Cost is what? Quality. Yes. You are meeting the point already, huh? Services. Uh services is about quality. Right. Reputation. Okay, this one can group under schedule. Uh sorry, resources. Means you 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 sell your resources, right? Oh, I have this machine, I have this expertise are able to do that, do this. This is your resources. Okay. Uh, then the, the, the word that you like to use, uh, risk, uh, you, you have able to man, uh, manage the risk. All right. So it means that uh, you, you have a, uh, in, in the industry, how you manage risk is your, they look at your asset and also your uh, cash, uh, your, your cash flow of your company. Okay. Okay, what else? Uh, time completion, yes. Uh, 
Another word, uh, this is a textbook answer. Another word is schedule. Uh, so this it asks you about factor, my it's not ask you to elaborate on the factor means keyword lah means keyword, right? But you can elaborate. Uh, if this kind of question come out, you, you don't know how to like write the keyword, you can elaborate, but not too long. Uh, okay. Uh, you mentioned cost, you mentioned risk, you mentioned resources, you mentioned uh, quality. Then what else? Time. Time linked to schedule. Okay. Okay, there's one more. Is the scope. Huh? Means the requirement of your project. Uh, what do you need to do? Uh, okay. So this is a competing demand that uh, you use, uh, not 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 use lah, but you consider during the negotiation stage. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, and uh, the the question that I give you uh, is actually question for project management certification. Okay, it's an industrial standard question. Means if you want to go and take a product management certification, these are the questions that are going to come out in the uh, in the in the test lah. Okay. Okay. The four. What factor may be considered to effectively and reliably reliably indicate successful completion of projects? So it's the same thing as question one. So you just elaborate. Right. So again, this question actually asks asks you about definition of successful project management or success. What what is a successful projects? So what okay, what, what do you think is a is a pro, successful projects definition? Why successful to you projects? Yes. Project uh, done on time. Then what else? Huh? Less safety with this another point means uh, if you left safety you're able to manage your risk and also no disruption to the operation so that is one point for no disruption on the operation uh what else okay what is the if you meet all the objective of the project then what what would it give you? What were this successful? Okay, you meet all the objective. Then you are dealing with who? Customers. So what will customer do? Happy ma. So uh, customer satisfaction is one. Uh, if you meet all the objective, so uh, factor here is a successful completion means it's still asking you the success. What is what is a successful project management? So customer satisfaction. Um, then after customer happy, what will customer do next time? It will give you more project, right? Uh, okay, so it will uh, add on business, means it will give you more revenue. And then successful project management. So when you have a successful project management, you have an organization chart. So organization chart is tell you about responsibility and authority. So when you have this org chart, what is the, you have the tools of the org chart. So what this tool can do for you, you elaborate based on that one. What does the org chart can do for you? Okay, so it means that, um, you have less conflict. You minimize the conflict between the members. Huh? Smooth workflow means uh, you have a uh, um, yeah smooth workflow. Uh, then you will have uh, no disruption to the again no disruption to the operation, um, and then you're able to uh, deliver. What the customer wants, right? Don't able to deliver products or services that the customer wants. 
or accepted product service deliverable. Deli, deli, deliverable. Yeah, so four factor may be considered effectively, reliably indicate successful completion of projects. So this one, customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction. One is your customers, one is your employees. So there are two points, yeah? customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction. Minimal, minimal, mi minimal changes of work or scope of work because you have a clear organization chart. And also you, you deal clearly with your customers, you know what you need to achieve, right? And then minimal, minimal conflict among the team, among the team member and organization unit. This is a clear organization chart uh, when you have that. Okay, so again, uh, customer satisfaction, Employee satisfaction. I'm not going to say show you the answer. Huh? I just verbally say the answer. Customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction, minimal changes of the scope of the work, minimal conflict among the team members and organization unit. Okay. Add on business. We add on to the revenue. Uh, add on business. More business, you're bringing more business to you. When you have a customer satisfactory, uh, you have a customer satisfied with your products or services, then customer will bring in more uh, referrals or uh, more revenues. Okay. Then no dis dis disruption to the operation because you have a clear communication. So there's no disruption and you're able to plan ahead, right? So when able to plan ahead, you have uh, risk management. So we're able to handle all these uh, operation problems before the, it happens. So this is elaborate on a no disruption operation. Huh? Okay. Then when you have a good successful uh, completion of the projects, so uh, you have uh, the, the, the end product is uh, what you deliver to the customers is uh, acceptable product services. Means you, you, you achieve your objective. You achieve what the customer wants. Okay, so about that. Lah, huh? Time frame is the... Time frame here is the, the your, your products, lah, your service. If you mention uh, complete... Uh, uh, com complete with, uh, within the time frame also, you can put. Although the answer is not here, but I consider that one also correct. So this is a, a, a chapter one. Uh, chapter four is, is, is more on theory and uh, it is test based on your understandings, right? Uh, there's there's no uh, no uh, equation or this, right? It will be chaser on cons of uh, project management. Okay, chapter five. Ah, uh, chapter five. Question five. Question five is a, a very long question. Okay. So the organization and organization structure itself may create internal communication barrier with this uh, uh, conflicts, management gaps, functional gaps, operation island. So we learn about operation island in our chapter one, right? So the three diagram that uh, the that uh, diagram one plus diagram two go to diagram three. Okay. So uh, study about that. Huh? Okay. Uh, this gap and barrier may result in conflicts, inefficiencies, efficiencies, low productivities. Describe some of the cause of this gap and how this gap can be effectively minimized. So this question asks you, you find the problems and then you give a solution how to solve that. Okay, so it gives you a few uh, guidelines here. Communication barrier, management gap, functional gap, Operation islands. What caused all this gap? What do you think? Why the communication breakdowns? Why there is a communication barrier? Why there is a gap 
in the functional line and management line or uh, management Y. Huh? What? Uh, this one you focus on why there is a gap between the communication. You still remember we 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 have a one uh, one diagram. Uh, so something like that. Something like that. This one plus. Then you have this one. You have this one. This one. Then equal to a loss of small island. There's one diagram like that. Right. Why there's a gap here? Why there's a what contribute to this gap? This question asks you about that. Okay, different department. Uh, what happened to a different department? Okay, that, that is organization chart, but it doesn't create gap. You still like okay defining the the a good organization chart, but this one it asks you why there is a communication barrier there. Uh, hierarchy too too complex, you can say. Um, but you still not hitting the point. Ah, hierarchy. That's not you mentioned management hierarchy. What else? Why there's a, okay, you look at individual, it actually help you to answer this question. Why there's a combination barrier? Why there's a management gap? Why, is, why there's a functional gap? Why is the operation island happen? All right, so you look at each one of these. So communication barrier, why, why, why one employee don't talk to one employee, why? Or, okay, then you can, uh, okay, first one, uh, more direct one. Uh, why there is a uh, like engineering department don't talk to the finance department? Why? Why why there's a gap? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, the the keyword to elaborate on this this uh, question is the culture, the word culture. The word culture. So functional groups may have their own culture. Okay, question five. Huh? Question five, the main keyword to use to elaborate huh, is culture. Then you add in the, the, the statement from the question. For example, you have a functional unit. Functional unit have their own culture. This is point number one. Means engineering department have their own culture, have their way of doing. Finance department have their own way of doing. Okay. Then if these two departments don't respect each other, then communication breakdown. Okay. First point is functional units may have their own culture. That is one. Huh? Then management hierarchy. Second one. Huh? Management hierarchy. So some some company they have their their way of communication, right? Some some com some company although that person his position maybe is just a senior manager, but he have a final say of everything. Why? Because the CEO if he's if he's dead, it's a family business. Okay, so this is on the management hierarchy. Okay, so management hierarchy might affect the, the ability to communicate. Huh? Uh, okay, so two point already. Huh? Functional group may have their own culture. Second point, management hierarchy may affect the ability to communicate. This number two, huh? uh, functional culture, management hierarchy. Then there is a uh, there is a protection of area of responsibility. There's one uh, technical word called 
U R F I S M. Okay, you you Google what does this mean? P U R F I S M. Huh? It means uh, you you they, they they will be some some uh you know there's a uh, uh you know in in a band music band uh, music band you have a so. Yes, All right. So you, uh, the another another barrel happen is because of this one. Yeah, you you elaborate this this one. Uh. You go Google, uh, elaborate what is this meaning? Yeah, it's a part of area of uh, responsibilities. Uh, T U R F I S M. It's a uh, is a professional terms lah, which is rarely used by engineering. It's, it's a very very um, it, it will be used in huh? protection uh, area uh, protection of area of responsibilities. Why why there's a gap there? Because maybe you want to protect your department. You 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 don't want to speak a lot of things, right? Yeah, and then. Uh, this is a, a negative culture also. Maybe there is a competition a lot among the managers. Uh, uh, competition, competition. There's a, uh, uh, if you, if, uh, let's say if we have a project A, project B, project C. So you have three project manager. So your KPI may be the profit and loss. So you'll be competing among each other. Uh, 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 it's a good competition, but um, since you're dealing with human, so you, you, when you have competition, then uh, uh, why did this communication do not happen? Because you want to get uh, uh, more projects. So sometimes you might not share information with other project manager. Okay. Uh, you, you, Okay, so this is a competition among managers, huh? and another point is competition among managers. Um, and then why there's a gap? This is more on the management because there are different prior priorities. There's a different priorities. Huh? So the management give different priorities, so uh, you have a gap there. You have a gap, huh? different priorities. In some 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 uh, CEO or uh, general manager, they give more resources to a certain projects. Okay. Um, okay, and another one is uh, um, you can elaborate on the organization chart, which is unclear organizational objective. Unclear organization objective. Uh, unclear organizational objectives. The next one is a failure to communicate strategic goals. Failure to communicate strategic goals. Huh? Failure to communicate strategic goal, goals. Strategic goals. So, um, or you can, uh, you don't need to say the whole thing. The keyword is failure to communicate. Failure to communicate. Uh, the no one is uh, inappropriate organization structure or the organization uh, chart. Inappropriate org, org chart or org uh, structure. In inappropriate, in inappropriate or not uh, not appropriate or ineffective. We can use another word: ineffective organizational chart or organization structure. The keyword is on the something wrong with the organization chart. Or something wrong with the authority, something because you have a wrong organization chart, or not wrong, lah, but ineffective because there's no right or wrong in business world, right? Uh, so, uh, ineffective, uh, you can write ineffective organization, uh, organization chart because organization chart also represents uh, authority and responsibility. So, when you mess up with the organization chart, then, uh, yeah, then uh, you mess up the whole project management. Okay, organize uh, okay, then uh, yeah, business unit culture also. Uh, business unit culture, you elaborate on the uh, first few points. Culture, uh, 
So you have a functional unit culture, you have a organization culture, business unit culture, and so on. Okay. Be clear? Hmm. Um, own KPI is 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 uh, own KPI. It just stay within the the, the island, ma. But it here why the gap here actually is uh, you focus more on the the uh, one department to another department. If your internet department is is okay, here is ask you about the why there is a communication barrier, uh, internal communication barriers, um, the gap between the executive and the functional groups. Why there is a why there is a gap there? Okay, different KPIs. Uh, it's not the main things that give you the gap. Huh? Okay. You're still doing the job, right? You're still doing the job. Uh, yeah? I'm fine. Oh. Okay, this one I forget to hide the answer. Okay, so this one uh, straight away, I'll give you an answer. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm not going to show you that. No, I'm not going to show you. Okay, number six. Stakeholders, this is a theory. You can use the one that we in our lecture notes or in the lecture slides. This one is from the uh, Project Management Institute um, handbook or guidelines. So stakeholders, uh, who are the stakeholders? Is anyone involved directly to the projects uh, that have an effect on the projects, huh? anyone directly involved in the projects and can be affect and can affect the result of the projects. So you, you can miss out the positive or negative, huh? but this is a, a few keywords there. Huh? Affected. Uh, in some some way affected, so it means it can affect the the projects. Okay. So example of stakeholders is is who is the project manager, project team, project sponsor, supplier, end user, customers. So this one is is from the internal structure to your supply chain. Okay. And then uh, stakeholders, you have. Uh, Primary stakeholders, secondary stakeholders. This is a primary stakeholders where you involve in the you 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 uh, will impact the projects. Secondary st stakeholders is like uh, the governments, agencies that not directly uh, affect the projects. There are some rules or some regulation you need to follow, but they do not interrupt with the operation how you manage the projects, right? Number seven, purpose, meaning of term. Uh, this one also another theory or definition, project management. Okay, so project management, you apply knowledge, skill, tools, or resources necessary to achieve object requirements. Okay, this is project management. So again, uh, this is a, a text uh, definition from the uh, Project Management Institute. You can use the definition for uh, from the PowerPoint slides, huh? from the lecture slides. Okay, number eight. Number eight, the five major project management project groups are. Okay, this is the process. What are the project management process? They are five. They are five management process. You have, you have to start until end, right? Uh, so there are five process. You start with initial initialization or in, initial or uh, start. Uh, you cannot use the word start. Like you use the word initiation. Then after you initiate, you do planning. You do planning after initialization. You do planning. After planning, you execute. 
Okay, after, after planning, you execute or execution. Execution. After ex execute already, you need to monitor, right? Huh? So monitor and controlling. Monitor and controlling. Then you close the projects. Close means uh, close the you, closing uh, means closing or uh, closure also can. As you, uh, yeah. Okay. So in this initialization, uh, you, or you mentioned the last one is that you you are closing the projects or closure uh, project closure or project close. So can uh. So the first one you initiate, then you planning, then you execute. After you execute, you review or you monitor or control. Then you, after you, you achieve your project, uh, project already successful. Then you close the projects. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Describe the least, at least three factor that might affect or influence customer perception of the project success. So this one you think as a customers. What do you think is a project success? Okay, again, you elaborate on the, the keyword of the project success, time. So this one, uh, three factors that might influence customer perception of a... Uh, mm -hmm. Budget. <coughs> uh, schedule. Okay. What else? What else? On sky schedule, okay. Quality, okay, and product quality. This one you think as a let's say, um, you are the you are the manufacturer. You are the let's say you are the you are the BMW uh, owners, right? right. Oh, oh, yeah. So then. Uh, uh, what, how do you uh, when you, and then you subcon to another company to produce that 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 products? So what what do actually you 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 require or what what do you think of a good uh, good manager or is a good project success? Okay, uh, so first is quality uh, I mean you can jump uh, all this point you can scramble around. First is uh, your quality, and then you look at the project manager. You can think as. Uh, Insurance, lah. You can think as an insurance. What do you? How do you? How do you define a good insurance agent? It's the same thing, lah. Uh, honesty. Uh, okay. Ever availability of a project manager means every time you need information, you call the project manager will pick up or you give you the information. Okay. Ever availability. Ever availability of the PM project manager. Then continuous status reporting. So you are you are lots of updates, you know? ah, So if you have a very good, let's say, yeah, uh, if a very good uh, insurance uh, agencies or uh, in insurance manager, or uh, you have a very good manager, then you constantly you will have get a lot of uh, status reporting, right? Ah. Even you buy shares uh, with the the, the the shares manager so uh, you also like like to have your your share managers to uh, report to you right uh, hey, uh, this stock going to uh, come to the peak already so stand by your money and so on right okay uh, reliability of the products and service reliability of the products so product here you can say quality is the first point or the reliability of the products safety just now you mentioned safety and another one is that uh, what is the factor that influence customer perception means if the customer say i want this 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 so you don't go and uh, change the scope lah. okay so another point is um, uh, minimum minimum uh, scope change minimum scope change you don't go and change the scope lah. right for example you build uh, you are the uh, uh, construction builder so you don't like your uh, you don't like your 
your subcon to always change things. All right. Um, then the operation one, you can derivate no disruption to the workflow. No disruption to the workflow. And then this one and the point is uh, on the products that you can see, you can touch. You can elaborate on the quality. This one is uh, <clears throat> um, aesthetic aesthetic appearance. A E S T E aesthetic appearance. Huh? It means the presentation of your products. Aesthetic appearance. You achieve the objective. You achieve objective. Value. Right. And so on. Huh? Yeah, lots of factors. Okay. So I go for one more, then we have a break. Okay. We have a break. Okay, one more. Huh? There are a lot. Huh? A lot. Okay, number 10. <clears throat> Explain why establish a good quality, uh, good good daily work, work relationship with function manager and line manager is important to a project success and it's critical responsibility of the project manager. This one you elaborate. Right? In the class, we always stress that why, why you need a good relationship with, between PM and the line manager or functional manager. Why? Avoid conflict. Uh, not not complete interest because both of you you are working in the same company, right? So it's a uh, avoid conflicts of uh, communication or something, huh? All right. So why 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 you need a why you need a uh, good relationship? What is the authority of a project manager and a functional manager on resources? Who hold the key to release the resources to you to the line manager, ma? So, line manager, they are in charge of the resources. So, you elaborate. Lah. Good relationship will help you what? Will help your, your, you achieve your. Yeah, it will help you to achieve your project's uh, 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 scope and all this. Huh? So, if you have a good relationship, you can elaborate. Lah. This is all not elaborate. The keyword is you explain where is the position of project manager and line manager who hold the resources then you elaborate on that okay uh, so because the functional manager they are the one who control the resources so with good relationship um, the functional manager they able to provide the resources for the project manager okay and ensure that the work is performed correctly. Okay. There's another point is conflict. They minimize the conflict. And the last one is important. Uh, if you have a good relationship, then functional manager will be willing to work together for future projects. This one for future projects, huh? Okay, so uh, question 10 is uh, here. We have a short break, uh, maybe 10 minutes. Lah. Uh, we continue uh, 9, 10, or maybe 5 minutes. Okay, uh, 5 minutes, uh, uh, we continue 9, 0, 5. Uh, but you can come in 9, 10 uh, if you need more time, right? But I still continue to discuss the question. <clears throat> 